Let's solve the advent of code 2021 day six puzzle using Ivy. Ivy has lasted a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but we might as well keep going until it runs out. So I have the sample and input loaded. And in this puzzle, we have a list of numbers corresponding to the reproductive cycles of some exponentially reproducing fish. Um, each number is how many more days before the fish spawns another fish. And after spawning a fish, the parent's timer resets to six and the new fish's timer starts at eight. And then every day the timers count down. So the state of the world is listed, modeled as this list of days before each fish spawns the next one. So here's the sample in the day 10 state. And we can update the state for the fish that have yet to spawn by finding the positive entries and subtracting one. And then we'll wanna find the uh, zeros, figure out how many zeros there are. There's three in day 10, one, two, three. And then we can uh, add sixes and eights as needed. So we need twice as many entries of sixes and eights. And so we can simulate a single day by combining those. Like this. And then we need that. So if we apply that to day 10, that's what day 11 should be. And it doesn't look exactly the same because the sixes and eights are in different places, but it is the same. All right, so now we can write in a recursive loop to run multiple days. We can say running for n days starting at x. If n is zero, we just stay at x. And otherwise we do n minus one days starting at day of x. And so now 10 days from the sample is not the same as day 10 again, because they're in different orders. So let's just sort them. And now we'll say sort 10 days sample equals sort day 10. And that's true. All right, so now we just need to count them, count the number that are left after running that many days. So we'll say the total after n days given the start is just the count of n days start. And so 80 total sample gives us 5934 fish, which is the right answer. So then if we look at the input, it took a second, but 352,000. All right, on to part two. Now part two says to do 256 days, and the sample gives you that very large number, 26 billion. Well, we're not gonna be able to make a list of 26 billion, so clearly we're supposed to do some sort of computation. Um, and if we think about it for a second, it's clear that once two fish are both on day four, they're gonna do the same things together. So we might as well deduplicate the list based on just counting the number of fish with a given timer. So let's do that. Um, so minus one plus iota nine is the number zero through eight. And if we do an outer product with the sample using the equals equals operator, we'll get a matrix where each column is uh, one when, so we have, let's see, we have rows here for zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and each of the entries in X has a, a, a bit, a one bit set where it should be. So zero, one, zero, five, six. And so then we can just add those up Oops, that's not gonna work. Um, there we go. Add those up. So in the day 10 sample that we're working with, there are three zeros, there are two ones and so on. All right, so let's package that up. Count X and count sample, that looks right. And so now we have to update how to do a single day. And to do a single day, to update the list of counts, we can rotate the list. The ones that have the zero will go um, to the top. I think that's probably minus one rotate. And then we also need to add in that same amount to position six. So x times one of count six. And let's see, day, day 10, whoops. Oh, right, we need to start out with the counts instead of the actual numbers. So we'll say um, opti total start equals 
add up the days count start. And just to check, we should be able to say um, 10 days count sample is some twos and ones. And if we just eyeball this, that looks about right. Actually, it doesn't look right. There are three zeros. Hmm. Maybe we got the rotate wrong. Let's see. One rotate, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so the minus one was wrong. Okay. That looks better. All righty. So that looks good. So now let's say 80 total sample. That's still right. And if we do 80 total input, that was our number from before. That looks good. So now we should be able to 256 total sample. Wow, that's a big number. And total input. All right. And we got our stars. Have a nice day.